In this video, we are going to upgrade the ASUS Strix SCAR 15, the 2022 model. Uh, please don't do this yourself if you're unfamiliar with taking apart laptops or computers in general. This is especially difficult because of the lighting all around. It is one of the more difficult laptops to upgrade. So if this is your first one, bring it to a pro who can do it for you. I've been building computers since I was a kid, and even then, uh, I do make mistakes too. Uh, so please be careful. Don't forget to discharge static electricity or you're going to end up frying a chip in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a little minor surgery. Lay the laptop on the back and there is 11 screws total. You have seven larger screws on the top part and three smaller screws along the bottom. There's one pop-up screw on the bottom right hand corner that doesn't leave the cover. You're going to need some tools. I use something like this to uh, hold uh, my screws in. It has little grooves so I can align the screw to you know where it comes from. Get a good quality screwdriver. You're gonna need a Phillips head screw size zero and you'll need something like a guitar pick to wedge open the cover. That one doesn't come out, that stays there. Caution, caution, here comes the really hard part. You're going to need a guitar pick to wedge open uh, the cover all the way around, but you can't remove this because the cover is connected to two wires uh, for the lighting on this cover. Wedge it up, but don't remove the cover. Okay, now I'm going to just very slowly show you what I mean. Uh, you see these two white cables? It's connected here and here. You need to sort of remove them. Well, you don't have to remove it actually. You can just, if you're really careful, you can do what I did and flip it around. Probably that's the safest way, but you have to be careful not to pull on this or you know it's gonna snap and the lights will stop working. Just for clarity's sake, I will remove the cables so you can see what's happening. So let me remove this from a side angle. I kind of turned it like this and you can see the two cables. So what we're gonna do is remove the cable from the motherboard there and from there. There's a black nib right at the edge. You have to lift that upwards before you can pull the cable out. So I'm going to take my pick here and lift it. up like this and then you can use this blue tab and pull out the cable same thing with the second one we're going to lift up the black tab upwards i'm going to use my fingernail this time and we can pull out the blue nib and now that the two cables are free we can remove the lid from the scene so here's an overview of the innards there are two memory slots here and here. They're dual channel DDR5 4800 MHz SODIMs that top out at 64 gigabytes. There are two SSD slots for storage here and here. They're gumstick sized M.2s PCIe Gen 4x4 NVMEs. And finally, the battery is a 90 watt hour four cell lithium ion. If you stick the second SSD into the slot, I'm going to cover up the screw that's holding in the battery. Let me tell you about the battery first. There are four screws, one, two, three, and four, and you have a uh, cable connecting it to the motherboard. To remove the cable, you have to push the silver part upwards, like that, and that lets you unseat the white cable off those pins here. Once you replace the battery, you can seat this white part into those pins. And then you can push the silver part back down to keep this in place.
Okay, let's put in the SSD. Just insert it. And uh, it kind of pops up, so you're gonna have to hold it down while you put the screw back in. There we go. So the SSD is now installed. So above the RAM modules, you have a kind of a heat sink. It's like a thick piece of aluminum. And you remove it by pulling these silver things on the side outwards. Just pops right up and you remove the RAM. And the opposite, when you want to put it in, just stick it in. And you push it down and the silver parts should click into place. You finish by applying the heat sink back on. Let's reassemble the cover. First, we're gonna put the cable back in and you see that white dash along that cable. You gotta push it in until it aligns. So there we go. And uh, we flip the black flippy thing back down to lock it in place. So now it's locked in place. And if you pull on it gently, the ribbon will not come out anymore. Let's do it with the other one. Here's the second cable also with the white colored line. Insert that back in. When it's done, we flip that black tab back down. I'm gonna use a guitar pick this time. Maybe it's easier to see. Like that. And then you can make sure that it doesn't Pull out by gently pulling on it, and it's set. So both lines are now connected again, and then we can reinstall the cover. We're not done yet. Don't screw anything in until we've checked to make sure the SSD is in there correctly, as well as the two lighting cables. So I'm going to push the cover in, without screwing it yet. So then turn it around and let's turn this bad boy on. Power on. Okay. That's a good sign. That's also a good sign. And the lights are on around the bottom. So we know that the lines are connected correctly. So with our computer open, the easiest way to check the install is to open File Explorer. I have it right here, but you can tap on Windows and it's probably in uh, your start menu here. And if it's not, you can search and type file Explorer and click on that. So over here, you can see, yay, our SSD has been installed and it looks healthy. Now, if you can't see that, I'll go to your Windows again, right click this time and select Disk Management. Tap that and it'll show you all of your installed drives. Chances are that your drive has to be formatted if you don't see it. Right now it's healthy and it's a fine partition. Uh, if you don't see it and it's unformatted, you can right click on this and select Format if you do need to format it. And uh, you can make your label there. File system, leave as NTFS and default, it's fine. I'm not going to format it, so I'm going to cancel out. But this is how you can check to see that your drive has been installed. Now that we know that the SSD has installed correctly and the lights all work, we are going to put the screws back in. We'll start with the bottom right one because it's already there. Remember that the screws are different. Bottom screws are smaller and the rest are larger for 11 total screws. That is how you upgrade an ASUS Strix SCAR 15 2022.